Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sally. If you guys haven't been here, welcome. We love everyone. So for today's video, we got a huge box of empties. I'm throwing it old school YouTube back in like circa 2016 or 2018 where we would talk about all of our empty products that we use. I have a huge box right here. I'm using the Lunar Beauty box that I got for like a palette. I think it was the Moonspell palette. I don't know. I just basically just been compiling all my stuff that I've been using throughout these past couple months that I was like oh that's a good YouTube idea all of my empties that I've been seeing it kind of floating around which I kind of like because it's like I can give you my first impression of a lot of stuff but I really want to know when I finish it like if I finish a complete bottle of lotion or like a complete bottle of toner completely finish it or like I finish my elf camo concealer I want to know someone's true thoughts about things like I can give you a first impression be like oh this is so pretty oh my god it's so creamy but how does it wear throughout the year or throughout the couple months that you do use it? Is it worth buying? Is it not worth buying? I'm gonna give you guys my true honest thoughts of a lot. I have a lot of products, but without further ado, let's get into that video. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is Bath and Body Works. This is Champagne Toast. I love this scent so much. This is a sweet, let me put it on me. I have a little bit left. Oh, it's so good. It's so sweet. I do smell a little bit of the champagne. -y. This is a perfect like day scent. Not very night because it's not sexy at all. It is so sweet to like candy and it smells like like punch, like fruit punch with candy, with sweet sugar and a little bit of champagne, a little bit of alcohol, but it just smells so good. Uh, definitely the lotion is very moisturizing. The body spray, highly recommend these two combos. Love it, would rebuy it. Yes, I am going to buy it when I can because literally I'm out of like the lotion. Look at it, I completely used it up. I have very little, I can still squirt a couple squirts and then I'm done with this. I loved it, would repurchase it. Yes, worth the money, Bath & Body Works, yes. Okay, next. Next is this. This is the L Keep Your Balance Toner. I did go through a couple of bottles of these, so I would repurchase it. I do think it's a good toner. I do like that when I use this, my I don't have any acne spots because it does have alcohol. That's the only thing I don't like about this is that it has alcohol in here. The toner has been working. I haven't broken out when I use this. I broke it out with my other toners, which is so weird because they're more expensive. This is about $10, and I think it's a pretty good toner, honestly. If you're looking for an inexpensive toner that's gonna work, it's gonna clear your skin, your surfaces your pores it does make my pores a lot smaller and the discoloration of my face I don't have it when I use this the only thing I don't like is that this has alcohol and I heard alcohol isn't that great for you I don't know about that someone chime down down below in the comments let me know about this toner if you guys have heard anything about it but it does dry my skin a little bit out and I do have extremely dry skin so I'm trying not to use it as much I only use it in the days where I'm like I know I want my pores to go away so I'll use this Next is e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. I don't know what more to say. I used it in my top three favorites video. I used it in my e.l.f. video. I've used this so much. This is my second bottle. I don't know, completely, completely, completely empty, as you can see. I love this stuff. I already have a new one, already bought in it. This has hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. I do believe this is about $12, $10, 10 to $12, somewhere around there. You can buy it at Walmart, Target, CVS, e.l.f. website. I think they have it at Ulta. I love this hydration cream. I think it is the perfect drugstore cream. I used it today on my face and it left me like glowy and dewy and I just freaking, I love this. I think it's a good moisturizer. Moisturizes your skin, leaves you plump, nourished, great. Next is this. This is the Maybelline. I always have the cap wrong. I don't know why. Maybelline Superstay Activewear 30H. Completely out of this. I literally have to, if I want more of this, it does have a little bit more. Like I could probably use like two uses out of it. I have to physically take out, I have physically have to take out the little thingy to just like all dab on the foundation. And I love this thing. This was also on my top three videos, top three of every favorite makeup items. This is the most full coverage foundation I have ever used in the drugstore. I am in the shade 310 Sun Beige and it is beautiful covers everything super super full coverage no pores leaves you flawless you don't even have to set it because it's so matte that you don't have to set it with powder sometimes i set it especially like on my under eyes sometimes i don't just depends works great with cream products works great with powder products it's just an overall good foundation and it's just it's amazing okay next is this this is the lasting fix lasting fix maybelline banana spray look 
um, yeah, nothing comes out. Uh, it, it, it's such a good, this is such a good formula. This reminds me of Laura Mercier of how finely milled it is. And the color kind of reminds me like it because it is a banana color. So it's not necessarily, it is translucent because you don't really see the color, but it's more, more neutral. It works with a lot of different skin tones. And I think it's a really, really good powder. Next is this. We're doing a little more high end. This is Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Fiber Gel. This is completely dry. I could probably use like one or two more out of this and then it's done like there's nothing in here I literally use it to its core. It is in the color rind. I would repurchase this repurchase this I actually really like this really really do sometimes what I do is I'll grab like a pencil like a very I'll grab like a very small brush like angled brush and I'll put a little bit on the brush and then just outline it with my brows and it works amazing last all day great and it has a little fiber so it actually looks like you're putting hairs on your eyebrows it's great love it okay next is this this is cover effects mattifying base primer um i liked it when i used it i just wouldn't repurchase it does anything come out let's see can we take anything out of this a little tiny little drop do you see that little drop right there that's the only thing that came out that's the only thing that's left i do like it it's very like silicone based it does fill in your pores it's not sticky at all it leaves it like a flawless base for your makeup so I do like it I just think it's pricey I think this was the mini cover effects I love cover effects primers I think they work miracles like cover effects primers are so good on the higher end spectrum but I, I'm not the biggest fan of this like I wasn't I just feel like for this you could have just used like a I don't know like an elf mattifying primer for basically a third of the price because this is probably like 20 30 dollars and I could have gotten an elf one for seven dollars so I would not rebuy this I think it's pretty I just don't think it's worth the money now we got Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Sorry, I'm going all over the place. I'm just grabbing whatever I'm picking out. Um, this smells disgusting. <laughs> oh god, okay. This smells like rotten paint. Like rotten paint. I can't imagine. And I've had this probably for like a year and a half, maybe two years. Okay, that's probably why, because I've had it for two years. Yeah, I don't know. I love this. I use this, honestly, this concealer, Born This Way Concealer by... Too Faced in the color Natural Beige. I use this as a foundation when I really wanted something very, very full, 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 full coverage. I mean, obviously, I haven't used this in about a couple months because it just smells disgusting and I feel like it's gonna break me out. But when I did use it, I thought this was this was really good. And then after a year, year and a half, it started smelling disgusting and rank. And I just, I, I didn't want to put this on my face because of how gross it smelled. But um, yeah, I don't know if I repurchased this. This is really expensive. This little mini tiny bottle was like $18, $20 for this little tiny thing. And I just don't think that's worth the price, especially when like the e.l.f. concealers work the same. That's going in the trash. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. Can you tell that I'm literally like out of this? Like, can you tell? Like, look at that. It's like empty. It's completely empty. I could probably get a little bit left, but it's empty, empty. And I just got this in September. That's how much I use this. What is this? Today is the November 28th. And I got this in September because I checked my Target account and I got this in September, like late September, actually. So two months. I've been obsessed, use it every single day, truly, truly, every single freaking day. I went to go pick it up today. I went to go do a Target run and they didn't have my shade. I was so mad. They didn't even have another shade, like a light. This is medium sand. They didn't even have light sand. And I was like, really? 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 Freaking love this. I would still repurchase this amazing $6. Hydrating, I think, is better than the matte. The matte is better for the under eyes. The hydrating is more for like spot concealing. Gorgeous flawless if you guys want to see more on this i do do like a i do an in-depth review in two videos the elf video that one and then i also show you guys how this one is specifically the hydrating one works in that video right there which is the top three favorites i know it's a long video but i go in depth of every single item of why it works for me why it's my favorite and i just freaking love it like it's so good next is the elf 
Camel CC Cream. This is completely gone. I could probably get like one or two pumps left basically and I'm out. I am in the color Light 250N. I know it's really hard to tell. 280N. I'm so sorry. Um, I like this. It does. This is the only, this is the only foundation that does leave me a little bit oily so i do not recommend it for the oily girls because i have super dry skin and for this to leave me oily is like what the like what, what, what? it's crazy crazy but i do think this covers flawlessly it's beautiful as soon as you set it with powder it does leave a beautiful finish i do think it works really really good i think it's a little pricey for what it is because this is more expensive than the superstay maybelline and if i had to choose between these two i would definitely do the superstay from maybelline because this wears off throughout the day because it is more like a cc cream it's it's more like a moisturizer i don't want to say moisturizer because it's not it has a lot of health benefits like it has collagen peptide niacinamide so it does help out with the skin but if you're looking for a foundation like drugstore route and you don't want to spend a lot of money i think for 14 dollars this is expensive i think this is 11 dollars. and if you want something cheaper than this i do think this one is amazing this is the doing and smooth by nature enabling fit me foundation Doing Smooth Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. See Maybelline Fit Me. Um, this is $5. I think this works. Honestly, to me, these two have the same coverage. This is $5. This is $14. And this one, I'm in the color 225 Medium Buff. This one, like, full coverage. Very full coverage. Lighter coverage out of all of them. This is medium coverage. This one, these two stay longer than this one. So this one stays the longest out of everything this one does not budge all day amazing and this one too this is probably like my 20th bottle that i've gone through i don't think i have anything left i can't see anything in there look <laughs> see nothing so nothing yeah no i'm out but yeah would we buy it yes definitely would would we buy it i don't know i like it i like the coverage i really really do today i'm using fenty Fenty Beauty. What did I use? Oh my god, what is it called? Pro Filter. Matte Pro Filter Foundation. I love that one. It's really pretty. I like how my skin looks with it. Would I rebuy it? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? I just don't think I would if I have these two in my collection. I wouldn't rebuy this. Definitely would rebuy these before I rebuy this. Okay, let's do some mascara. Let's go away from other stuff. I have a lot of mascaras because I freaking love mascara. I want to talk about is Bad Gal Bang. So good this is amazing this has to be one of my favorite high-end mascaras I just used it on my cousin Denise and that that video right there where we did reviews and booze it's a new series that I kind of want to do I don't know do you guys want to do something like that that's kind of more fun not so like boxed <laughs> I mean, we're still boxed into this little little camera space right here, but it's where we uh, basically do each other's makeup, like review new makeup products or old makeup products, and we get drunk while doing it. Well, we'll, we'll drink and talk, and I think it's more fun because you guys get to see more of like how I'm actually with people or other people or talk to. I still feel like you guys are my friends, though. Like when I talk face to face like i feel like someone is here even though i'm talking to a camera and a lens i still think someone's on the other side and someone's listening to me or someone's probably like that girl is freaking crazy and you know i probably am but i still think you guys are my friends so i think it's like cool to talk to but but yeah let's go back to the products i'm so sorry i go on a rant but if you guys like booze booze and reviews or reviews and booze let me know down below in the comments if you guys like something like that where i'll drink and review a product because I think it would be fun. Anyways, this is Bad, Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. It's a plasticky wand. This formula is so moussey. Completely dry now. Yeah, it doesn't have anything. Lengthens your lashes like no other. I think this works a little bit better than the Maybelline Sky High. These have Maybelline Sky High. I would rebuy it if I didn't have the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Let me show you guys something. And I think you guys are going to be shocked. Like shocked. Okay, ready? Which one's which? Tell me. Which one is which? Any guesses? Okay, ready? This is Sky High, this is Benefit. Sky High, Benefit, you see? They're the same freaking wand, the same wand. First of all, do I think the Maybelline Sky High is great? 
Yes, I don't like the formula at first. The formula needs to dry a lot. Like the formula needs to dry, I wanna say a couple weeks before it's super, super lengthening and super, super long. This formula, the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, the formula right here, you can instantly put it on and it, it lengthens right away. It's super, super moussey. This is a little more wet. If you like more on the wet formula sides, get this. If you like more on the moussey side, get this. Love them both. I think they work phenomenal. They work the same they look the same i did a i think i did a reel on this once on my instagram of comparing them both and i could not tell the difference so i like this but if i had to choose bad gal bang wins every single time this is just my favorite high-end mascara there is this is not my favorite high my drugstore mascara that one is actually the lash princess by essence I don't know why it's not here if I've already gone through a couple of these. I don't know. I probably just throw it away. But Lash Princess by Ensis. $4. Amazing. Oh, wait. I was still talking about mascaras. I was like, next. Let's finish the mascaras before I move on. Oh, I have a couple more. Oh, my God. I have a lot of mascaras in here. Oh, okay. Um, let's go with this one. This is Damn Girl by Too Faced. Oh, I did get it when this, this, this came out. Like, specifically when it came out probably a year ago maybe two years i liked the better than sex mascara but this one i did not this is a lot more voluminous you see how chunky that wand is you know how hard it is to get this in your lower lashes and your upper lashes it does give you volume it is just filled with product like if i literally will scoop it out like this see how i'm scooping it out all the product stays <laughs> look at all that product see all that product like that was all from the brush that i was trying to scoop it out i have to physically like scoop out all the product the formula basically it's super moussey which i love but i just think it was coating too much of the brush and it just leaves you with very clumpy lashes not long at all it's just super super it's just a lot of volume too much clump um wasn't the fan i didn't like this do not recommend damn girl would not repurchase it the better than sex is a little bit better than that one because it's not as clumpy and then this is the lash it loud by elf i do like this one i like this wand i do like these plasticky wands a lot i just would not repurchase it because since these are so tiny these are these bristles are a lot more tiny than like the sky high or the bad gal bang you have to get really really close to your eyeball like super super close formula is a little more wet too as you can hear it i like more moussey formulas that's why i like the sky high mascara better i'm not the biggest fan of wet formulas because i don't feel like they hold a curl as much but this one i just i don't know i just didn't like it because every time i would get super super close because you have to get really really close to your eyeballs for this and every time i did i would poke my eyeball like i'll be like oh you know so nah this is the lash it loud by it i did have mascara all over my hands i did actually really like this one like it is just dry all of these mascaras are just dried i actually really like this one i like this wand this has the bristles wand it's not the plasticky ones this is more of a natural hair this really separated and really lengthened not so much volume but i did like the length that this gave me so i would rebuy this i just don't know about right now maybe in the future maybe if they have like a little set so i could try out more mascaras i would rebuy this i like this one the last mascara is their real magnet by benefit no hail to the no would never rebuy this in my life uh, first of all it has real magnets in here the wand it's such a it's such a pretty wand oh my god i love this wand look at that wand it is so bristly and pretty you don't have a lot of product i like this type of wand so good but the formula itself hell to the no uh no this gave me the worst reaction in my life on my eyeballs that i've ever seen this has magnets okay it says they're real magnet yeah yeah it has magnets in the freaking formula the wand is magnetic so what it does is the formula has there's a magnet inside or a metal inside and the magnets are in the formula so as you're putting on the mascara the magnets trap to your eyelashes and they make it really really long okay awesome great great but they don't know that magnets aren't supposed to go on your eyeballs do they not know that and when they got on my eyeballs my eye just went shut like both of them just puffed up like completely puffed up and shut and i couldn't see out of one eye because i was like this i was like like imagine me with a balloon just puffed up this whole eye was puffed up trash 
tail to the nose. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done, guys. So then, sorry, this is over 20 minutes. Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist in SPF 70. Sunscreen? Ah, uh, no. I do not recommend these. These get all over when you spray them. You inhale them and they go all over your lungs and it just, you're coughing and they stay in your room because I'll usually spray this in my room. Unless you're spraying this outside, okay, maybe. But it leaves you super, super greasy and tacky and it doesn't sink into your skin until like you rub it and then what's the point? It's like it's supposed to be a spray. It's supposed to do all the work itself, you know? Uh, no, this goes all over the air. Like it's so bad when you breathe it in, so no, no. Not rebuying it. Okay, next is this one. This is the Fit Me Maybelline powder in 220. Uh, as you can see, I'm completely out of it. I love this. I use this every single day. This is pro um, probably my 30th, 35th, 36th. I don't know. I lost count. I've been using this since high school. This foundation powder specifically since high school. I put it on every single day on top of my foundation. Doesn't matter what type of foundation it is, I cannot go without putting this on because it just leaves your pores smooth and flawless and it leaves a beautiful base for your contour, for your blush, for anything that you're trying to put or anything you're trying to cover because if you miss a pimple or there's a really dark spot peeking through, this powder just basically gets rid of it. Like it erases it and it's just a little miracle worker in this little tiny thing and as you can tell, like love it. 220. Fit Me Foundation, Powdered, Matte and Poreless, 220 Natural Beige. Amazing. So let's try this one. This one is Idol by Lancome. Oh my, oh, this smells so good. If I could get a full size of this, I would. I would. I think I'm gonna keep this bottle just so I can know which one it is. Idol Le Perfume by Lancome Paris. And it's just so beautiful. Look, nothing comes out. Oh, oh, I got a little bit. I got a little bit. I just... Okay, this is the only floral scent I love because I don't like floral scents. I'm not the biggest fan of floral scents. I love musky and gourmand and I do like fresh. Fresh like lemon thyme and like, you know, sea breeze florals. No, this is so good. I don't know what's in here. I'll put a picture right there of this, the Idol Le Perfume Lancome. It is just amazing. I got a little sample from Ulta. It's like floral and fresh and fruity and it, it just smells sophisticated but not too overpowering. It's not musky at all. It's like a good daytime perfume, like an everyday kind of thing where people are going to be like, mmm, you smell good. Mm. It has a little bit of powdery, like baby powder after, but it's not baby powder-ish, if that makes sense. It's just like a light powder. Like you did your makeup, you got cleaned, you got showered, and you put on a little bit of nice perfume and you put on this. It smells so good. This is amazing. Oh my god, I love Scentbird. I think I'm gonna cancel this month because it's a lot of money and I have a lot of perfumes right now that I need to go through. But I love Scentbird because they send you the best perfumes on earth for so much cheaper than what you're gonna pay for it at. Like this bottle, like this vial is probably like $30 at all. I have bought a vial like this for $30 at Ulta, so this is two for 20 and I just, it's amazing. Anyways, this is Atelier Cologne Clementine. This is Atelier Cologne Clementine California. This smells straight up like oranges. This smells like oranges and freshness and fruitiness. It's just, it's amazing. I'll put a picture right there. It is, it's just amazing. Okay, just trust me on this one. It's just amazing. So the next item is the Tatcha, the water cream. I have gotten, this is probably my, my third sample. Sometimes I get it from Sephora, sometimes I get it from Ipsy. It just depends. This cream is luxurious. I just don't think it's worth the price tag because I could buy this and I feel like this works a lot better for my skin. This kind of dries me out a little bit. So I think this is more for like oily skin girls. I don't know. I just want to repurchase it. I just don't think it's that great. It smells amazing. It leaves the skin plump and luscious, but it just dries me out. So I don't recommend, don't recommend this. Ah, oh, my camera's dying. So we're gonna have to do this fast. Okay, fast review, speed reviews. Ready, set, go. Smashbox in out loud. Love this color. It's a pretty, you can't even freaking, it's dried out completely. Look, it's a pretty orangey brick tone color. It has a little hint of red. Loved it, would we buy this? elf insta lift brow pencil and i think this is dark brown as you can see that color right there love this would we buy it only three dollars i loved it talk about it a lot these two are the same color they just i just put different lipsticks on it but i have literally six backups of these these are amazing mint melt lip plumping gloss 
It smells like mint. It is beautiful. It leaves the most plump lips you've ever seen for a drugstore price. Only like $6. Amazing. Would we buy it? I have five backups. Poreless Elf Pore professional hydrating primer i don't like this i think this is crap it balls up on your skin on top of your makeup and it it just doesn't work as good as the original and i still don't like the original i don't like these i don't think they're good i got an oxycharm so that's why i use it but i don't think it's good hey guys i had to change my battery so the lighting is probably different i probably look different i don't know what you guys saw last so i'm just gonna talk about the last product that I think I talked about. This is the Gimme Brow by Benefit. I do really, really like this brow gel. It has the tiniest little wand, and I think the real size is tiny little too. Uh, tiny as this little one. This was a sample size in an Ipsy bag that I got. I do do a lot of Ipsy unboxing, so if you guys like that, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I do a lot of stuff on this channel. A lot of stuff, but yeah, I think you guys would like it. And anyways, this is in the color 3. 3? Yeah, in the color three, I think it's a nice color to give a very fuller look on your brows. I do like how this has a little bit, a little tiny bit of fibers, so it does make it a little more defined. I like it. I would rebuy it. I think it's a little pricey. I want to try out the Elf one. I know there's an Elf one for like four dollars. I want to try that one out too, but I, I, I like this one. I do like it, and I would rebuy it. Two more products, and we're done. Okay, this is sorry. This, this video is long. I'm so this is the Pure Least Radiance Glow Illuminating BB Cream. This exploded in my mouth in the Ipsy video. I forgot what Ipsy, I think it's this one. I think it's this one, I'm gonna look it up, but I think it's that one if you guys wanna see this exploding in my mouth. It was so much fun. This is the Illuminating Radiant Glow uh, BB Cream SPF 30 Oil Free Moisturizing Natural look Coverage Illuminated Look Up. No, this is crap. Like this is a crap product, I'm so sorry. I hate BB creams at home. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm mean. Maybe I'm really mean. Uh, this did not. Let's 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 be nice. This did not work for me. Okay. This didn't really. I know it's a BB cream, so I can't really be mad at it. So it's a moisturizer. But even if it's a moisturizer, this made me look so greasy and gross, and it went into my fine lines. You can see everything was exaggerated. All my pores. I. Uh, it was just. It's not good. It's, it's not a good product. I don't. I don't recommend this. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm gonna throw it away. I was thinking of like giving this to someone. Maybe someone else would like it. Who doesn't really wear it? I just. I wouldn't. It's just a crap product. Other than like, I don't know what I like more. Lip products or setting sprays? I want to say setting. I love setting sprays. I have so many of them. So many. I just like how they make my face look. I have feel and refreshing and all the smells i just think it's amazing this is the stay all night micro fine setting spray i finally said it right i've been saying it in so many videos i literally have this product in so many videos if you guys have seen me in the past i talk about this a lot in a lot of favorite videos i talked about it in my elf video i just love this thing this works like a high-end setting spray it has the most beautiful does it still have some it doesn't have anything in here does it have some let's see oh it does did you see that spray oh this feels so good oh it had a little bit and it's out it's out it has a little finest spray like from the drugstore it smells pretty good it smells like a spa kind of flory floral and herbally I, I really like it this reminds me a lot of the urban decay all-nighter setting spray and it just locks it in this is supposed to be 16 hours and it locks it in place and it does not budge it does not move and it does not make your makeup move whatsoever and i think it's a really good setting spray for 10 bucks this is my second bottle i'm on my third i just discovered it recently last year 2020 and i think it's amazing i think it's good and yeah that was it that was my empties i have a whole lot of products in front of me and i am overwhelmed and i'm gonna throw a lot of these away now finally i can throw them away i've been waiting for this video but thank you guys so much for coming and watching and spending a few minutes of your day subscribe like share comment click that little notification bell so you guys can be notified of all my future uploads do all those things to help my channel it really helps me out trust me it helps me out so much thank you Thank you guys so much for coming and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.